Welcome to Business Talk, owning it with Sage. With me, Michael Avery, using the account tools that Sage provides, small business owners can see and understand their business better. They can make better business decisions and they can provide better outcomes for their customers and staff. And that really is the bottom line. And during this pandemic, uh, we've learned to cope. Uh, but in the post-pandemic world, we need to learn to thrive, not just cope anymore. I think companies emerging from the crisis are realizing that their people, their workforces require new capabilities to face the digital and the environmental future. And for many small businesses, it has just been a matter of survival. So how do we now take that to the thrive level, from survive to thrive? Well, someone who has experience in this field is Varesh Hardith, who is VP for Small Business Africa and Middle East at Sage. Varesh, welcome to the show. Hi, Michael. Thank you for having me. I'm looking forward to the conversation. Now, as entrepreneurs start to think about what comes next, you've survived the pandemic, you've got through to uh, what is hopefully the other side soon. We're still waiting for the vaccine, but we can see the finish line. I think things like higher productivity and growth are, are very much on the agenda. And one of the keys to achieving that is obviously to boost uh, employee engagement. And you, you say employee engagement, it sounds like such a dry concept, but at its heart, it's really, it's about your people. It's about ensuring that your staff are going to run through walls for you. How does one do this as a small business? Where's a good place to start? It's a good point, Michael. I think first we, we all really appreciate the resilience of our small business and entrepreneurs in South Africa. It was challenging times before COVID to, to see businesses come through that and hopefully with some optimism and light breaking through on the other side, it, it's a great opportunity to ensure that your employees are engaged with you as you move forward. So I think as a small business, uh, your your success was built with the employees and to a large extent, it's probably your biggest invest. So to ensure that your employees are motivated and aligned to you, it does come back to some fundamentals. I think it's uh, communicating, understanding your employee need, but there's also some opportunities, especially in the, we're fortunate to be in a very tech rich environment where you can make use as a small business to some of the feature sets that are available to larger companies um, that you can now use with your employees. So for example, um, employee self-service, ESS, it, it's a very technical word, but effectively it's as simple as your employees being able to use their mobile phone to apply for leave. Uh, and there's a myriad of other HR solutions that have been scaled down for the small business. So I think as my, my take on small businesses engagement is one, the basics never hurt. Make sure it's an open environment, there's a culture of communication, and then also leverage what's out there to make your employees interaction with the, the, the business easier. It's not just uh, what I'm hearing you say as well, the domain of big firms, and we hear about uh, Facebook and Google offering sleep pods and rock climbing walls and mini golf courses, but actually now using these new to tools and technology, which let's face it, have democratized access to these great features to, to give your employees a voice. How, how important is that component in terms of increasing employee ownership over the business to give employees a voice? I, I think it's fundamental. I think if you look at how competitive small businesses are, a lot of time what differentiates it is your employees, your employee interaction with your customer, your employee interaction with each other, and also how much of how, how strong the advocacy in your employees are. So mm. I, I do agree with you fully. I think a lot of these big corporates and the case studies we all like to quote, you can bring it down. Everyone can take some of that. And it does come down to understanding what's important to your employees. So for example, if, uh, if your employees have families and they have children, making note of that and making sure you create something or some incentive uh, or a wellness day to give them that opportunity, that's what resonates. I think if you look at the tech companies where they were looking to uh, capture people straight out of university and to spend X amount of additional hours uh, programming, then it makes sense, those Google examples. And I think it's fascinating how we all resonate with these case studies. We love hearing a good mm -hmm. company employee engagement story, but we all could do that. And I think it's a great takeaway from, from what, what we see out there. How do we bring those feel goods into your own business? 
And in terms of the tools that uh, Sage has developed that are available to small businesses out there, so there's a whole gamut of tools. Uh, what, what are some of the, the tools that stand out for you that, that help entrepreneurs capture and harness the, the power of technology to boost employee engagement? So the, one of the products that we, we're very proud of at Sage, and it's very much targeted and was developed for small business. And it's something we actually launched uh, for free during COVID to help small businesses is our Sage HR module. And uh, at launch, it was called KKHR. It's been rebranded to Sage HR. But effectively, it's a, it's a tool that you can use with your payroll system or as a standalone. And effectively, it gives small businesses, genuine small businesses, the opportunity to leverage the, the great HR tools for your, for your business. And that includes uh, leave functionality. Uh, I would recommend going to our website, sage.com, if you really want real, the real information behind the detail in the module. Um, you also have a lot of mobile applications. Uh, that we're seeing that allows you to engage with your employees and get genuine feedback. So I think uh, above what we have at Sage, which I think is a great offering, I would recommend that all small businesses really look to see what's out there in terms of meeting their need. And it, it's no longer a case of even if you are two or three or five employee business, yeah. there's a solution. But the solution will never replace the engagement. It's working with the engagement to give that real employee benefit. Absolutely. I mean, these are just tools at the end of the day and how you use them in your own hands is going to determine how successful the outcome is with, uh, with those tools. Uh, and then just to move on to uh, your announcement today, uh, FNB and Sage uh, partnering on a very exciting new integration. Uh, just tell me a little bit more about that. Uh, thanks for mentioning, Michael. It's something we're very proud of. Um, a lot of people put a lot of effort into it. But effectively, uh, Sage and F&B have entered into an alliance or a partnership, which uh, is effectively we're launching a direct bank feeds with F&B. And what that basically means is when it comes to your transactional uh, banking line items in your bank, it will have a full 100% automatic recon to our accounting software. And it's at no additional cost. It's 100% accurate. And effectively, the, the real benefit is, I always say this, small businesses are passionate about their business or service. And it's uh, the job of providers like ourselves, compliance software and banking, to make sure we take away that burden and allow the person to remain focused. So the direct bank feeds application will allow uh, seamless recon uh, between those transactions which will make compliance and tracking of your business on your accounting software completely seamless. So it's a really exciting um, partnership and uh, we're looking forward to seeing how it's received. I think uh, your accountant, small businesses are absolutely gonna love it. Yeah, and I think ultimately for a small business, if you can have greater uh, management accounts, effectively being able to track and monitor the health of your business almost in real time, it's just gonna give you another string in your bow in your arsenal to help navigate with uh, what are still very difficult and choppy seas. I mean, yes, we're seeing the economy come out of, uh, uh, you know, out of that deep freeze that I mentioned earlier, but it's still a long way from where it was even prior to COVID, which let's face it, wasn't a great place to begin with. So we really need right. to, uh, as small businesses, add as many tools as possible to ensure that, uh, that we can survive. Just as a concluding thought, what would your advice be for entrepreneurs out there, small businesses uh, who've managed to survive this far, but are, are now finding that uh, you know cash flow is is running short? You now keeping their employees motivated and engaged is tough. When, when new contracts and new businesses uh, is hard to find, uh, what would your advice be to those uh, entrepreneurs out there to keep going? I think my 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 take on that is something that I would give as general advice whether it's COVID, not COVID, any small business, it takes one, you have to be a certain type of individual. You risk seeking, you're passionate about the solution you provide. My advice would be to all businesses, all small businesses, make sure you have a good understanding of your financial position. Uh, what I see is a lot of businesses um, are either trying to keep the lights on or they're looking to expand or they're looking to diversify, but you need to have a good handle. So a good, Accounting software uh, would give you a sense of your turnover, your committed expenses, your debtors book, your creditors, 
your customer trend. Because once you understand your financial position, one, you can communicate it. You can communicate it to your staff, your creditors, um, investors. If you're looking to expand, if you're in a certain position and you need to either look for a loan or funding or expand, you need to be able to communicate it. So your passion has to be, you, are, you need to be able to communicate your passion in terms of the numbers. So for every business, I always say, make sure you have a clear, continuous, real-time view of your financial position. And then all the decisions and opportunities are off that basis. So for any business coming out of it, anyone looking to enter the, as a small business, um, make sure you're able to understand it, be able to drop a business case and communicate it. I think that's really sound advice. Uh, Varesh Hardeth, VP, uh, Small Business Africa and Middle East uh, for Sage, uh, with some insights into employee engagement uh, and uh, very exciting announcement of an integration with FNB, allowing better uh, and more real-time access with uh, Sage Accounting uh, and uh, FNB uh, bank uh, client uh, integration as well. So really interesting, Varesh. Thank you so much uh, for sharing those insights with us here on Business Talk, owning it with Sage. Take care. Thank you, Michael.